Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stefan. I am an adult doll collector. This video is intended for fellow adult doll collectors. If you are not an adult, this video is unfortunately not for you. Um, today we will be doing a room tour of my doll room slash office. And then we will be going into my Poppy Parker collection. A couple of you guys have been asking me for Integrity Toys and um, you wanna see more of my Poppy Parker, so we're gonna do that today. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, my Poppy Parkers, I redress all of them. So what you will see today is likely not gonna be how I originally purchased it and how the designers intended these dolls to be seen. However, I think it'll still be fun to see like a collection that is very, very unique. So let's get started. I was thinking like, should we do this from the dolls that I love like most to least? Like how do I present these dolls to you? But then I have way too many Poppy Parkers. So um, that would be just a really long process. So I'm just gonna kind of like show them to you randomly. Um, and then maybe I'll tell you guys like my top five favorites, like who is in the top five? Let's go. Okay, no, but this doll is like actually probably my favorite. Um, this is the Jason Wu 2023 Poppy Parker with this gorgeous flocked hair, really unique in my collection. Um, I just think that she is the most incredible like supermodel really. She has um, freckles, which is super rare with Poppy Parker. I think there's only one, maybe two dolls out there. Um, I know Day Tripper for sure is one of them. I don't know if there's any other. So if you, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But um, really, really rare for a Poppy Parker to have this kind of like freckle detail. She is just incredible. She's so gorgeous. I don't have her in her original Jason Wu clothes that she came with. Um, this is something that I redressed her in for a photo shoot that I posted on Instagram. But I think that she is just stunning. Here is a, another one of my favorites. This is a one of a kind um, reproduction of Hold That Tiger, which I really desperately wanted. And um, she sells on eBay these days for like over a thousand dollars. I think I'm obviously not going to pay that much for a doll. Um, so I had this artist named Ulcha. Um, her Instagram handle is Ulcha OOAK. I'll make sure that I tag it. Um, but she does like reproductions of old Poppy Parkers and it is so close, if not like exactly factory quality. Um, she's just incredible work. So I commissioned her to um, do this one of a kind, hold that tiger for me. Actually, since I've had her do it, there's been a couple other collectors that have had her reproduce hold that tiger. Um, I used Bella Marie Poppy Parker from the 2022 convention, I believe. It was either 2022 or 2021. I can't remember what convention it was, but Bella Marie um, I didn't really care for her screaming, so I had Ulcha repaint her to look just like Hold That Tiger, and she's gorgeous. I did cut her hair and kind of like gelled it down a bit, so it's super, super sleek. Um, she is dressed in the Jason Wu 2023 outfit from that previous doll that we just talked about. Um, so just really gorgeous. I actually even prefer the, um, the coat off of the doll. You have this really pretty, uh, pretty jersey kind of tank top, but she's stunning. I think that she looks so incredible um, in pictures, on my shelf. Um, her screening is just absolutely beautiful. Ulcha did a really beautiful job. Okay, here we have another um, custom doll. I did this one myself. This is from um, the Poppy Parker Sugar and Spice set. And this is Sugar. Um, before she had kind of like shorter, um, almost like shoulder length platinum blonde hair with bangs. Um, she was cute, but I just found her kind of like sitting at the back of my shelf all the time and I wasn't really paying a lot of attention to her. Um, so whenever that happens, I either sell the doll or else I customize them. I'm like, how can I bond with this doll more? Uh, I know that sounds so funny to say like bond with a doll, but really like I customize the ones that I am not in love with and see if I can 
maybe fall in love with them. And for her, it really worked. I put this beautiful kind of like strawberry blonde in her hair with like kind of more platinum highlights. This was a really long rerouting process, but it was so worth it. I think that she looks incredible and um, she's at the back at the front of my shelf now. So here we have Poppy Parker, Poppy Parker Ultraviolet and another gorgeous girl, maybe in my top five favorites, to be honest with you. Um, I love a forward gaze in Poppy Parker, so she is having like a forward gaze as opposed to like a side glance, um, which I think photographs beautifully. Um, and she, I did give her a haircut. She has this like really sleek bob. Um, it reminds me of Celicia uh, whenever she won America's Next Top Model. And she just gives me top model vibes. I don't know, I love her. Another top five favorite Poppy Parker is Poppy Parker Cool. She is from the 2019 Style Lab from the convention. Um, really, really gorgeous. That was like right the time that I started collecting Integrity Toys, specifically Poppy Parker. And this was one of the first Poppy Parker dolls that I got and she is just absolutely stunning. Again, she has that forward gaze that I love. I think it photographs beautifully. And um, this really cool kind of platinum, very ashy blonde hair with these very cool, almost gray eyebrows, really soft makeup and this kind of like bright coral lip. I think that she is just stunning. I, um, I love her so much. I try not to play with her too much or photograph her because I'm really just trying to keep her like in pristine condition as much as possible. So she's not a doll that I typically like take out on like photo shoots outside and stuff like that. I just keep her on the shelf. Every once in a while you'll see her on my Instagram, but it's rare. Now we have Poppy Parker Alluring. Um, we match, we got the same hair color. Um, she is another really beautiful doll with that forward glance. She has these like gorgeous brown eyes with this coppery red hair, just like me. Um, love her. I took her to DC for the curated convention with me and I was just like taking pictures around the all the Washington DC monuments and uh, got a lot of weird stares, but uh, so worth it. I got some really gorgeous pictures of her and yeah, I just think she's she's a gorgeous girl. We love her. Maybe not not one of my top fives, but like top 10. I have another custom for you. Um, this is Poppy Parker Bossa Nova. Um, I got her for a really good price secondhand and I rerouted her. So she used to have black bangs, like a really hard black bang across the top of the forehead or across her forehead um, with like shoulder length black hair. And I just thought that she would look really beautiful as a blonde. So um, she has a couple tones of blonde in here. And it used to be really long, like past her, past her hips. And I just thought that it would look really fierce, like kind of short. So I gave her some kind of curtain bangs, gave her a nice short cut. I think she's fierce. I like her. Okay, we have a top five favorite Poppy Parker here. This is Poppy Parker Garden of Versailles. Um, she was one of the first that were added to my collection. She gives me Diana Ross, just this gorgeous, gorgeous, really tight curl. Um, this kind of like slicked back up here at the top. Um, it's kind of like wrapped in like a, a ponytail. Um, but just see how much hair she has. Like it is incredible. She is just so, so gorgeous. Um, she has these like long manicured red fingernails that I just think is super, super glamorous. Um, yeah, love her. Definitely one of my top fives and potentially a grill. Like I think in a couple more years, this doll is going to be selling for a lot on eBay, but I'll, I'm going to always keep her. She's gorge. This is Poppy Parker Go See. Um, she is a stunner. She has this really long, it's not red. It's like, maybe it is a little bit red. It's like a reddish blonde, strawberry blonde, maybe if you will. Um, really long, beautiful hair with um, kind of like a red eyebrow, um, soft coral lip. She is 
a gorge. I think that's the new word for this video is gorge and gorgeous. But this is one of my favorite dolls to redress. I redress this one quite a lot. Um, I've traveled with her before. I, uh, I have a lot of fun with her. This Poppy Parker, I've done a whole video on before, so we're not gonna spend too much time here. But what I will say, I think she's a stunning, stunning doll, obviously. Go watch that 10 minute video that I've done on her. But what's funny is I can't really take a, a really good picture of her. Sometimes it's weird that like, dolls will look incredible on the shelf, and then once you get them in front of a camera and you're like trying to take a really good, you're just trying to like capture the beauty on a camera, it's much harder. I, I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but gorgeous doll um, in person. Not so easy to photograph that beauty for some reason. I don't know. I'll keep trying. Maybe it's me. This is um, a recent addition to my Poppy Parker collection that I was super excited about. Um, this is Poppy Parker Silver Cloud. I um, got her at the curated convention that we had this year or last year in DC. And I was so excited about her because I am a huge fan of Edie Sedgwick and Andy Warhol. Um, I have like studied a lot of the art and the factory um, that was made in the um, kind of like mid to late 60s. Um, so just a huge fan, a huge fan of the movie Factory Girl with Sienna. And um, yeah, I was stoked that we had a doll that looked like Edie Sedgwick and um yeah I think that she is super gorge I haven't taken too many pictures of her um but I do have a few on my Instagram but I'm really scared to mess up that that gelled hair like I want to just keep that as sleek as possible so I try not to touch her too much to be honest with you but stun this is a one-of-a-kind doll um, this is another doll that I got on eBay. I actually bought her with just like the head alone and I had to buy a body to put her on. Um, but this is a replica, one of a kind replica of Hold That Tiger. Um, she was made by an artist in China and she is gorgeous. Um, not quite factory, like it's a little off from the factory quality. Um, but still a really stunning doll and she does photograph really well. So we love her. Um, her hair isn't like all the way there. Like it's just kind of like, I wish that it was like a little bit more sleek and against the scalp, but I, I really don't know how to fix it. Like I don't want to cut her hair. I don't want to add more gel into the equation because it's already like stiff as a rock. And she can slay an outfit, obviously, so. This doll has to be in my top five. I don't know if I've gone over five yet. I hope I haven't gone over five, but she has to be in my top five. She's a very special doll to me. Um, this is Puppy Parker, time of the season. I'm gonna take her hat off so maybe we could see her face a little bit better. But she's just so gorgeous. She has this gorgeous platinum blonde hair um, with a side part, uh, brown eyes with a nice soft brow. Um, she was expensive. Let me say that. She was expensive. My husband bought her for me. Um, I was hunting her down. I was literally obsessed with getting her in my hands. And I was searching the web everywhere on W Club Forum, asking people who I thought had like had her or was trying to sell her in the past. I was like messaging them like, hey, do you still have this doll available? And um, my husband paid a pretty, pretty penny for her, but you know, it was worth it. I love her very, very much. I've taken so many pictures of her. Um, and every time I ask my husband, like I ask him pretty frequently, like who his favorite doll in this room is. And he always says her. He's like, where's the one I paid a lot of money for? Should we talk about the least favorite Poppy Parkers? I think we should. Let's do that. This is Poppy Parker So Curious. And I was really excited whenever she came out and the designers like kind of like released her off into the W Club. Um, because I am a big Disney fan and specifically a big Alice in Wonderland fan. I have a lot of Alice in Wonderland themed stuff in my kitchen. Um, I love Alice and, um, I was just a little bit disappointed with her. Like whenever I saw her, she was just giving very vanilla. Of course I had to redress her cause I do, I don't dress my Poppy Parkers in like, you know, an Alice in Wonderland dress specifically. So, um, uh, I did redress her. 
but she was just giving me very vanilla. So I bleached her eyebrows to kind of like edge her out a little bit. So what I mean by bleach her eyebrows is I use like acrylic paint and kind of like painted blonde over her kind of like soft brown blonde eyebrow. Um, just to try to make her look a little bit more edgy. And I think I was successful. I liked her a little bit after that, but I don't know what it is about her that I just like, I'm not super into. Um, she's pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty. Okay, another one of my least favorites. And I think that this, this is something that can be corrected. So maybe she'll, she's going to come off this least favorite list soon. Um, is Poppy Parker Miss Independence. I talked about her in my last video. I talked about how I washed her hair and took all that gel out of her hair and I regretted it immediately because it just lost its shape. Like she just doesn't have like a really cute shape to her hair anymore. Um, I did try to um, boil wash her hair to kind of like straighten it out and maybe like edge her out a little bit. I've, um, I'm thinking about kind of just like chopping her hair and giving her like a really sleek bob. Um, like you, saw, you guys saw with my ultraviolet. Um, I love her face. I think that she has a really pretty face. I am just not into this hair and it's just like, it's hard to get around it when I'm photographing her. So I typically don't photograph her. She is sitting on the back of my doll shelf right now. This, I, I feel bad putting her in the least favorite category because I actually think that she is stunning. So this is Mad for Milan. Um, I love her. I think that she is gorgeous. I actually really, I've always displayed her in this dress. This is not the dress that she came in, um, but I put these gorgeous shoes on her, um, this really cute dress and these cute little stockings. Um, and I've just kept her this way, like pretty much the entire time that I've had her. Um, and I just think that she, it's not that she doesn't photograph well, but I just think that she's not very versatile. Uh, behind the camera, she does have on quite a lot of makeup, um, a lot more than a lot of my other Poppy Parkers, and maybe that's the reason why I just don't feel like I like her as much. I've thought about giving like a slight repaint to her, maybe just like remove some of the eye makeup because it's kind of a lot. And then she has this really pale like nude lip. I wish that she had maybe just a bit more color on the lips. But then I love this kind of like 60s effect that she has right now, and I kind of just want to keep her hair. So I'm I'm torn. Do I repaint her or do I just leave her as is and and keep her as this pretty little trophy on my shelf? This girl here is definitely a least favorite. I just did a video on her though, so we're not going to talk about her, but she's in that least favorite list. And then that concludes the least favorite list. Let's get into some more dolls that we love. All right, this doll I loved so much that I bought two of her. Um, I guess Integrity Toys had like overstock of her or not enough people bought her. So they actually gave us an opportunity to buy a second doll, which is pretty rare. So I jumped on that opportunity. I ordered me a second one and um, she's just incredible. So I pretty much kept this one all original. So she has original hairstyle, original makeup. Um, I did redress her in another outfit. Um, she is called Desert Dazzler. Poppy Parker. Um, but the second doll that I got, I did do a little repaint and restyle on her hair. I still might reroute her into another color. I'm not exactly sure what color yet, but it's potentially happening. Um, I kind of really do like this just like gorgeous long hair though. Um, but I gave her a new lip color. So she has a little bit of like this mauve very cool toned pinky purple lip that I think works really well for her. Um, so yeah, Miss Desert Dazzler, top 10, not, not top five. Here is another redressed beauty. Um, I honestly forgot the name of this Poppy Parker. I'm gonna have to put it in there somewhere. Um, but she is from the Palm Springs collection. She is of course redressed um in this really gorgeous pink that i think works beautifully with her melanated skin um i did change her makeup ever so slightly she had on a lot of eye makeup and i really loved her because i don't see a lot of poppy parkers in this skin tone and i was really excited about her um so i kind of just like neutralized her eyeshadow a little bit she had this like very like gold metallic eyeshadow and just to make her a little bit more versatile, I just kind of like painted over that with um, some skin tone. So she is 
really really gorgeous i have her on my top shelf i think that she is incredible just gorgeous hair i can put her in so many things and she just looks so glamorous and we love her glam we have a grail here um this is miss chauffeur's daughter uh, or they the chauffeur's daughter poppy parker um, this is from the Poppy Parker, Audrey Hepburn collection that they did. So this is from the movie, um, is it Sabrina? I think it's Sabrina. Don't kill me. Um, but, ooh, she has some weak joints. She's an old doll. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I took her to Disneyland with me and this was before I really know how to take care of my dolls while I was traveling with him. I was just kind of like shoving her in my backpack and her eyelashes fell off, unfortunately, so I do have to get her relashed. She has no eyelashes like the rest of my Poppy Parkers do. Um, and she, her hair is just not really giving. Um, I try to like make it cute and give her like a cute little little fringe. Um, I'm tempted to reroute her and just give her this long, gorgeous brown hair, but I'm scared because I don't want to touch a grill. I already like trimmed her hair a little bit and even that felt wrong to do because with grill dolls, it's like you just want to keep them like as normal and as original as possible. So I feel weird about touching her, but um, we have uh, Poppy Parker Spice. So she is from the Poppy Parker Sugar and Spice set. I kept her as original as possible. She's really giving me like Marilyn Monroe vibes that I thought was hot. She has this really fiery red lip, this gorgeous kind of like sideways glance with these very like siren sleepy eyes that I think is absolutely stunning. Um, she's just like a really classic gal. So not very versatile, but stunning nonetheless. We like her. This is Puppy Parker Gold Snap. I bought her nude from a seller on eBay, I believe, or no, it wasn't eBay, it was the W Club Forum. Um, so you can like post in the W Club Forum if you're a W Club member. If like you are searching for a doll, um, you'll have people reach out to you, be like, I'm selling her for X amount of dollars. And then I said, yes, let's, let's get her. So. I did like an email transaction, which is honestly a little scary and shady. Um, you're just kind of like completely trusting this stranger on this forum. Um, but you know, the doll community, doll community, we tend to look out for each other. So it doesn't happen nearly as much as you would think it would. So um, yeah, everything went well. We got her off the W Club forum. She is gorge, gorge, gorge. Um, she's giving me like rich girl vibes. I did a Lana Del Rey photo shoot with her one time, like making her look like Lana Del Rey album covers. And um, they came out great. And she's giving me Lana Del Rey, like early Lana Del Rey, but not very versatile, unfortunately, but still gorgeous nonetheless. So I put her in this cute little like tweed Chanel inspired suit. Can't go wrong. Okay, here we have Poppy Parker Undercover Angel. This is a Poppy Parker that was inspired by Charlie's Angels, uh, definitely Farrah Fawcett. Um, I love the hairstyle and I haven't like combed her hair or nothing. I'm trying to keep those curls as original as possible and kind of like keep them tight and in place. Um, she's not a doll that I photograph a whole lot, uh, but definitely not a doll that I'm willing to give up yet. Um, just real stunning. She does sit on the back of my shelf because I just don't touch her a lot. I don't play with her a lot, but I love her. I think it's because I love Charlie's Angels and I love Farrah Fawcett, so that's why I love her. But Gorge, green eyes. She had this kind of like really feathery, fluffy brow effect, um, almost like a laminated brow, I feel like. Um, stunning. My last Puppy Parker. Um, I have a few other Integrity Toys dolls. We won't get into those today, but it's very few. I mostly collect Poppy Parker from Integrity Toys. Um, but we have... Oh, I forgot this one's name. She was from the Style Lab a couple years ago um, from the Obsessed Convention. Um, Poppy Parker, I'll put it in there later. Um, but she is neither a favorite or a least favorite. She floats somewhere in the middle. Um, she 
has that forward glance that I like. So she photographs incredibly. Like if I ever need a really strong model for my pictures and I know I can like kind of dress her up however I want and it's going to be a good picture, I, I rely on this girl for that. She is just, you know, your tried and true blonde, long hair, blue eyed model. I almost forgot about this girl. This was my very first Poppy Parker. This is Poppy Parker Powder Puff. Um, and I, like I said, the very first Poppy Parker I ever got was her. Um, I was not a member of the W Club. Um, I was just kind of like browsing through eBay whenever I saw her and I got her for $150, which is just about retail price, right? So absolutely crazy. That does not happen anymore. You do not get never removed from box Poppy Parkers at retail. It just does not happen. But, um, I was so happy I, with her and that like this one Poppy Parker just got me hooked pretty much for life, but just so gorgeous. I think I was just attracted to this kind of like ridiculous amount of fabric that she has on. I think it was like so unique and cute and stupid in the best way. Um, it's just bright technicolor pink, um, just unapologetically pink, which I think is so, so cute. Um, cute little feminine bow, pouty pink lips. She has this really like kind of neutral nude eye makeup. She did come with this cute little bear. You can remove this kind of like loofah looking robe from her if you want. I choose to keep it on because I just love how ridiculous this is. Um, and she does have that kind of like same material in her dress. Look how stupid and cute these little pumps are. I don't know if you can see. They have like little cotton balls on them. Oop, little like powder puff cotton balls on her shoes. Um, it's giving Barbie, like it's giving Barbie waking up and this is the, the slippers that she walks around her house in. Um, love her, absolutely ridiculous and that's what I love about it. She's so cute. Okay, so now that we have gone through the Poppy Parker collection, let's take you on kind of like a little tour. I'll show you guys some of my wall art as requested. Uh, let's go. Okay, so here is the office. Um, this is a, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. There we go. So this is a really small room. Um, I knew as soon as my husband and I bought this house that I wanted this to be like the doll room slash office because it has this like pretty peachy pink color. It looks a little bit more pale on camera, but we made this kind of collage with a bunch of posters that we had of just like some beautiful, inspiring women. My husband loves Madonna, like is Madonna's number one fan for real. Um, his, one of his best friends and bridesmaids got him this um, poster that you see right there, which is super sweet. Um, my dad gave this to my husband, so we hung that up. These are some of her old tour posters. Um, and I got this one for him from this artist on Etsy that kind of like put together some of her iconic looks into one piece. Um, so I framed that up for him. I have a matching one over here for Miss L Woods. Um, it's kind of covered up with some of my dolls right now, but you can see like a lot of Miss L Woods and her iconic looks from Legally Blonde. Um, really love this. I will say whenever I bought this, I was like really disappointed because the colors looked really pale, but, um, nothing can upset me for long. I just took out some markers and literally painted right over all those colors to make them a little bit more vibrant. So love that. As I mentioned, I love Edie Sedgwick. So I have some pictures of Edie Sedgwick here. We have some more Madonna. Um, this Audrey Hepburn here. Um, I'm a big fan of Audrey Hepburn. I love Breakfast at Tiffany's. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, this belonged to my husband's mom. And um, whenever I was going through the garage for my father-in-law's house, it was kind of just chilling in the garage. And I said, oh my gosh, I love Breakfast at Tiffany's. And then he gave that to me. So very, very special. I love it. And um, I, I wish that I had hung it a little bit higher. So I might change that so you can see a little bit more of it. But yeah, we have a just big collage. I also have Victoria Beckham right here, who I love. Um, that's mother. 
Um, she's covered up with some of my designer Disney dolls. Um, so I have designer Disney dolls here. I have some Disney dolls right here. And I have a bunch of other Disney dolls in my closet. If you guys want to see that in another video, let me know and then we can go through that as well. Um, but yeah, that's all of our wall art. Here I have a huge mix of Barbie and Integrity toys and a lot of Poppy Parkers. So we have my YSL Barbies, love them. Um, yeah, ton of Barbie. I have my Trixie doll back there and, you know, just a bunch of poppies mixed with Barbie all here. It's definitely getting a little crowded right here. I have like all of my nineties Barbies. And then here I have some more modern Barbies. Cute. Here I have some Blythe dolls. I do collect a few Blythe dolls as well. And then I have some American Girl right in there. And if you go right over here, then, oh, she fell. Um, I have a bunch of my Poppy Parkers in this little cabinet that I got from Ikea. Um, I really loved the color of this. It's just gorgeous Tiffany blue. And I keep just the dolls that I really don't want to get dusty. I put them in here. So, um, and I change this around quite frequently. So sometimes I kind of like change the themes around. So right here you have like some more beige. Here you have some more bright pops of color. On the bottom I have black and white. I switch that around. I change their clothes and I change their order around frequently. Okay, y'all, that is all I have for our video today. I hope that you liked it. If you did enjoy, please give me a like or a comment or a subscribe or all three, whichever you choose, I appreciate it. Um, if you have any ideas or any things that you would like to see from me or my collection, please drop it in the comments and I will try to make that video as soon as possible. Um, I kind of love this stage of creating a YouTube channel. It's just like the very like early inception of it where it's just like, we can take this channel wherever we want to go. Um, it's fun. So like I said, drop those ideas in the comments and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.